Biocon is a technology for drying sludge at low temperature and incorporates a dedicated energy recovery system module option. Biocon is easy to use and ensures low operating and maintenance costs. The sludge undergoes prior dewatering normally to a dryness between 17 and 30 percent. The sludge is then transferred to the sludge distributors located on top of the drying unit from where it is uniformly spread on the first of the two stainless steel drying belts. The use of belts at low speeds guarantees efficient distribution of sludge, low drying temperature and produces minimal dust and abrasion. Hot air is blown through the belts and the sludge placed on the belts. The water of the sludge evaporates and the humid air is transferred to a condenser for drying the air. The dry air is reheated and recirculated. The dryer is kept at under pressure, ensuring that no odor is released to the surroundings. The retention time of the sludge in the dryer is more than one hour at a temperature higher than 75 degrees Celsius. The sludge attains a dryness of 90%, guaranteeing a stable final product, fulfilling the requirements for US EPA Class A sludge. The dried sludge can be reused in all possible ways. Biocon incorporates an optional energy recovery system. When installed with the ERS, Biocon does not require any external source of energy. The ERS furnace is fitted with a slow-moving grate which ensures full utilization of the energy in the sludge. The thermal energy is recovered to generate the energy required for drying. The residue is easily evacuated. The flue gas is channeled into a post-combustion chamber where all the organic matter is burned. The flue gas is then sent to heat exchangers that supply energy to the drying unit. After treatment with activated carbon and sodium bicarbonate, the flue gas is sent to a bag filter. The flue gas is finally released via a stack without any impact on the environment in terms of odor and emission. The emission fulfills the European Union requirement. The ashes produced represent only about 5 to 10% of the initial sludge quantity and can be used for road filling.